Lord, I, my name is uh, Mrs. Bola Babalola from Mero. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I came out this morning to testify for what God has done in my life through the obedience of the word of God. Um, why I came, I don't want to come out, but my spirit is telling me to come out. Why I came is because I want us all in this church to be obedient. Anything they are telling us, especially when our daddy is talking to us or giving us message, we should just be obedient to that message. Because if, we, if you don't obey that word, we may suffer for it. It happens uh, last week when I was going to office, normal routine that I normally do the preaching of the word of God. So on that Monday, I was preaching that word in the bus, but the bus, the driver of that bus, Loud, he was playing one worldly music and the thing was disturbing me. And I said that before I started, I was praying before I started, and I said that, ah, sir, can you lower the tune of that radio? He said, what? I repeated. And when I just said, he didn't answer me. When I just said, praise the Lord, he increased that volume. Ah. And I said, okay. Then the Spirit of God that is in I said that, don't stop, just continue. So I cracked my voice and I was saying everything that God said I should say. The preaching was just coming out and even the people in the bus were just wondering that what kind of man is this? I give that message and I came down. So I cracked my voice I could not even do I, I wasn't myself throughout that day even the second day. The second day when I enter another bus the spirit said say something again oh yeah talk I want to talk to you I said that I was saying it to my mind that I can't do it that yesterday I was saying something and the, the driver did not allow me. I cracked my voice and I'm not okay. I'm having a headache. So I was telling God. I didn't know that God is always talking to people. But that voice was coming to me and I was, I didn't open my mouth. I was repeating. Uh, I was answering the voice through my mind. And he would tell me something. And I said, that, okay, you are stubborn. Now I will bring somebody now. And the person was going I'll bring somebody now that will give that message I want to send you. And I said, God, I'm not disrespecting you. But I cracked my voice and I'm having a headache. Suddenly, a woman just entered. When that woman entered, God said, that is the woman. Hey, I smile. And I said, let me see. Maybe it's really God that is talking. Immediately, the woman spoke. Praise the Lord. I feel like crying. I was, God, I'm not disrespecting, but you know I'm sick. So when the woman gave the message, I was happy. But the Spirit of God said that, you know you are a disobedient child. And what did I tell you through my servant? That anytime you are doing this, I'll keep on surprising you. Remember what I did for you last week before this week. And I said, God, I'm sorry, what do I do? And I said, go to that woman when you come back. And fortunately, I descended from, um, I bought them from National. And that was where the woman was going. The woman is a Apostolic Christ member. I went to, I don't want to go, it's an elderly woman. I said, mommy, please, I want to share something. And I told her what happened. Ah, the woman smiled. And I said, God, we pray to you. She now prayed for me. God now said that I've forgiven you. So I wanted to, I, I supposed to take a, a, a cab to my office. I wanted to take that cab. I said, don't enter. I said, what would I do? Say, go down to airport. Go and board a bus. I was say, okay, I don't want to disobey. I went. And truly, when I got to the bus play, there are full people. And immediately I enter, I open my mouth. The glory of God descend. I give God the glory for what he did. In fact, when I got to the office that day, God surprised me. Even up to now, he surprised me. He did a thing that I could not even say it out. I have to share with my father and the Lord before I say it out. God really is taking care of me too much and he keep on surprising me and that's the message of god from for me through our daddy that god keep on surprising you and he surprised me even my husband was like ah, ah what is happening my children everybody was surprised i say it's good to serve god and to be obedient so when i was coming this morning i supposed to take a bike or call the person that normally brings me and i said let me trek i was striking god now said that look at yourself you are bleaching. I said, God, I'm not bleaching. He said, look at your leg now. And I look, I said, ah. 
if my, my leg is changing, you know, but I say, God, is it in, I'm using lotion. I don't use any bleaching cream. So I was surprised when daddy was talking about bleaching this morning. Let us be obedient and God will continue to be with us. Praise Amen. God. Amen. for Jesus. Amen. 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 It's good to disobey. I mean, so it's good to obey God. You know, we had the phone last testimony. And I appreciate God for the last testimony she gave. Most, most people are more fairer than she is. They see use Tony creams. Either soap or cream or whatever. For what? You want to become white. Uh -huh. It is what God has done for you that lasts. Uh -huh. And God bless our dear sister in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. particularly my last born. Ibato wa ni two years plus. I dictate pe oni ania. But in year 2012, around June, I prayed there. When in December 12, to the school day, I shall be pulling. But lately, I joined was of family. My mommy, that thing has come out again. No, that day, the second day, new open every man. I go to Kalosi Church. But I was service Lord joined. I'm afraid that there was no chance. Or just Sunday night, there was no chance. But on Monday morning, I called. So one one came one Thursday. But we buy out in the temperature. We shall low. We allow you from. But but on Thursday, that day I attend Siwa. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from the spirit of Ania. When they are from the Bible scripture, we came out from Sinomi. To God be the glory, everything has gone. So, we do well alone. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. What do you think about me? Oh, bless you, man. What do you think, Jesus? I was searching God over the salvation of our souls and the family. And I feel God over a boy that has an Ania at two. After the operation, the, the Ania resurfaced again. But through the prayer, through our Father and the Lord, and Bible verse given to their mother, this Anya disappear completely. You oh, need it no more. I think possessing a Jacka Shaka Lucas Dada. While at the number seventeen of Mumba de Baja. So, a rime and coco, more more, I want photo can was a bivy. Oh, my man, why me so? So, what have bad gua? Like where, or long for me, I miss on La Bilogia. So, a rime cagey. Baba Law can't be no lemmy. A make a log bow, take as a cam log bow, no lay. More there be lady money or granny, he said, Will lose it on a pack of long ta, Hungoya, or they say Baba Law. They were my wallet and my grand conjadi, Baba Wahod or Baba Musia Lagi, only came a long mad dope. So look yarn or long or long lay jaddy, or Baba Monique no say for me. They Monique mobile jani, only rara, only. Kesi bi mo se 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 o tele le ngwa tun de nu le se wa wa ha jewo olohun te ko yara me tiri bedroom olohun ko lo hebe o sa ku lo nu le re olohun ba mi ti jade bi bi eleyi e ba pe Jesu o se le meta Jesu she Jesu she Jesu she Glad for Jesus e ja pa to fun Jesu Amen Amen our dad shall be in all over two things. One, that God has secured admission for the son. And secondly, there was an occupant in his house that came as a plank seller but turned to be an abalist. But through the prayer of our Father and the Lord, and thank you, Jesus, this abalist packed out without fight and without conflict. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Ni ba lo ni jo Thursday to koja bi mo ti kuro ni ile wa bi mo se su mo atagun yan kan fe waju mi mo ko dure bi bi ani pe e ma lu lo lu le o gba ma de ton ni kan wa gbe mo ti dide ati gba yan wa mi bayi ese bayi gbogbo e ku owo mi le se bayi o ku wo se kini sugbon mo ti pe lowo olorun pe lo omi alayo yan kin to travel mi o re nikan mo abu sinu omi mo wa fi we bi o ba je pe ti tori olorun lo gbe mi dide ah ke ta n wi ko la ba bo lati je ta yen ara mi ti bere si ya le ni owo yen bi o le gbe bayi de le bayi be kan lo da gbe pe bo paralyze sugbon olorun de ti wa wo mi sun 
Ikeji ni pe ile wa tojo mo ti se jari omo eyan meta ni ba jo ni jebu ne ji so kiri yan wa o wa la bayi o wa ran so pe awon ma gbe fun developer awon ma gba lowo mo ni o kiri ma wo ko to to se kan mo ni loruko jesus ko ni wo ba mo mi alaye yan ba won ba won si lati bi odun meji o kiri yan wa o wa wole pada e ba mi jesus o se le meta so se Amen. So testimony for our mother, he went to Jebu and he fell and he sustained paralysis through this. But through the use of the prayer water, God resuscitated our mother. She, she could use her hand and the leg perfectly. And secondly, there was a, heart, a fire outbreak in the house at Jebu and the wall ought to have been falling off. And if this wall are falling off and they did not do anything to it, it will be taken away from them. But our mother used the prayer water with feet and sprinkled it on this wall. And for good two years till since the, uh, the, the, the fire outbreak, the wall remained the same and even the wall closed back and there was no uh, entrance there. Praise the Lord. He says, if you believe, you shall see the glory of God. There's nothing God cannot do. If you believe through that water, and it will work for you too. Amen. Amen. My name is Ola Jeremiah. I lived at Ayobo. Last year, Zali, today, last year, 14th, 2014, I was in the hospital. I was hospitalized because I don't have time for God due to my job. Every time on Sundays like this, they will place me on duty. Why those who are Muslim, they will go to their house. But me, they will put me on duty. All the time, I don't have time for God. I was almost 20, I spent 24 hours in my place of work. So I don't even have time at all. Not until uh, February 14 last year. I was, so, I was just in, the, in my working place. I just collapsed. I didn't sick before. I just collapsed. And it has never happened to me before. They rushed me to the hospital. The only thing I could just, I was just saying in, in the hospital because I thought it is over for me. Because I have even lose hope on myself that it is over. I was just asking for the grace of God. And I thank God. God gave me the grace. The same day, the doctor said he's going to tell that I should wait, but I tell the doctor that I'm okay, that I'm going home. Even the drugs he gave to me, I don't use it again. I just drop it because I know where the mistakes come from. On Sunday, I find my I try my best to come here. And when I came here, I thank God about preach about restitution. That same day on the Monday, I went to my place of work. I go and I went to my boss that you have to change my duty post. That's where I'm working, I didn't like it. It leads to a lot of things. Whereby my boss says, hey, if you want to start a church, oh, it's better you go to some other place. Oh. So this, but to God be the glory. God touched their heart and gave me the chance and take me to a, another department. And since then, God has been helping me. I've been coming to church and I praise the Lord for, for saving my soul up to this moment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. What do you call a lot of for a lap of and you look good, you can tell about it, do cool, tell about it, then you let to the penny boo by you. I won't write for long, should go long, bang on la. Oh, then me won't see doni, or to fall, look you, nibby, new out dog gown, to fee, to shake, to fee, ye boom, pada, latin, my right, so you are, look at you, so on to your mama, so you are more, coning the bow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Oru you come in, Sarah, okay, Wally, that's your luaga. Modupe lowo long fun the transformation that is going on in my life right now. I bless the name of the Lord. Ekeji. Modupe tori pe Olorun tun ka mi kun alaye. Gege bi nse nso mo je ni kan to je pe Satan ni fi ku ojiji le mi kiri. Olorun lo fi si mi lokan lati wa jeri ni Aroy. About um, 3 weeks ago mo lo si yanu paja mo lo ra on kan kan so bi se nbo mi kan se fe so da bai mo ti gbese Ekeji tori mo to kan wa waju ato kan pack. In Jackie, bless uh, the other leg. Let it go, Jack. I mean, in fact, I don't know how God did it. I mean, I can't damn it, Father. But there is not even with a split or second to damn Father. You can shut down for whatever the speed down for you. And I knew that it would have just knocked me down, and that would have been the end of my life. But I bless the name of the Lord. Pray. Oh no, oh Jackie, cook oh Jackie. Tori pray. Motu fe saki ni konsa. Tani sheki ni konsi. Tori pray. On fi ku oh Jiji. On fi sare sare li awenyo. But I bless the name of the Lord that I'm alive today. And I thank God for that He shall perfect everything He has started in my life. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A prophetess cannot die. Yes. 
I say prophetess cannot die. He will not die. Like Yoku, but he lives to declare the words of the Lord. That Mary shall do. Money, no look at Jesus. How do we live by? Shall become the prophets of the word. God bless you. Amen. What do we call Ah, Lord, Lord, we will do. Jacob, Kuku, Gigi. He has done little for us. Let's rise on our feet.